30, 40 years ago, this Kingston Harbor was one of the most beautiful places to be. You know, and look at it now. It's like a mountain of garbage for, you know, 30, 40 meters out from the mouth of the gully. Plastic is found everywhere, no matter what beach you go to around the world. You walk along the beach, you look down, there's plastic. It's microplastic, there's PET, there's mixed HDPE, all mixed in with the sand. At this point, over 90% of all animals out there have like plastic traces in them. Plastic never dies. Once it's created, it will be always there. It's just changed its form. Even if you burn it, it's a different form of pollution. We produced already enough plastic for our needs. It's just that we don't keep it in our system. It's like we are losing it. We are wasting it. We are deplacing it. That's the truth. Parlay Ocean School works around the world with our NGO partners. The opportunity here in Jamaica is to work with the Alligator Head Foundation to enhance and beautify our beaches through more active community cleanups. So you got PET, all your drinking bottles, and then you got mixed hard plastics. So that's what we want to separate. That's what Parlay for the Oceans can recycle. Thanks everybody for being here. It all starts with exploration. You just go somewhere and you talk to people and we try to trigger something. You know, they learn a lot and find the people, the allies that we need, and then we build a movement. We need to start taking up our garbage because guess what? When we eat and we throw the garbage on the ground, when the rain falls, where do you think it goes? In the, in, in the sea. We feel that we have to really educate the youth of this world to know that the daily decisions that they make really affect the health of the ocean. And it's not us that's really gonna turn the ship around, it's, it's our children. This is one of the reasons why you are here today to clean up the beach. And guess what, what you need to do when you see your friend or anybody throwing garbage on the ground, you need to say, take it up, right? You need to educate them. What is happening here today, I hope it is a wake up call for the people around Port Antonio to take better care of their surrounding and especially the beaches. If the water is dirty, you cannot go in the water to go swim. So I think the beach cleanup is more than just cleaning the beach. It's cleaning our minds, you know, so that we don't continue to add to the litter. This is great. It's a beginning. Of course. You know? Because I never used to see this. This is the beginning of a great move. There had been attempts to get um, plastic pollution under control in Jamaica, but it's not easy, you know, you need a full system. It doesn't help if you just pick up a lot of trash and there is no system in place that actually processes all that stuff. This is the start of a program of partnership that we want to continue. It's not just about the football, but it was also about the beach cleanup that you guys participated in yesterday. We're working with an organization called Parley for the Oceans, which has an interest in reducing the amount of plastic bottles that we use. Please welcome Cyril, make him welcome, Jamaican style. We have big plans here. The idea is to end plastic pollution in Jamaica. And also we want to turn all the trash that we are getting from these beaches into equipment, into shirts, into sh pants, into shoes, that we see value in that trash, that we really have something out of it. And I'm really thankful that you are here today and playing and starting this with us. We're here to learn from you and we're here to play with you and we're here to end plastic pollution with you. Thank you. Today was a very good day for us because we started something we always spoke about, the Palais Ocean League. The idea is very simple. We're gonna trade trash against equipment. Trash as a submission fee for your team to be part of the games. The partnership with TBA21 and the Alligator Head Foundation is pretty unique for us because it's very rare that you have like such a committed organization that plays in these different fields like ocean conservation and art and has deep ties to a community. For us, this is an amazing 
entry into a country that we actually don't know. And we are here to learn. We are here to absorb. And now we're going to process and we come back with a concept and we're going to come back with a plan to free Jamaica from plastic.